Hello yogis, welcome. My name is Petra. Welcome to this gentle yoga class for flexibility. This practice is perfect for the complete beginner or if you are simply looking for beginner postures to help you increase flexibility in your body, this sequence is for you. So let's begin our practice by coming over to the back of our mat. Start sitting on your heels, bring your knees together, find a nice long spine, take a big inhale, and as you exhale, fold your torso over your thighs into your full child's pose. Rest your arms by your sides, release your forehead to the mat, and just take this time to settle into your body, into your breath. Letting go of any thoughts, any worries, and simply paying attention to the simple motion of your inhalation and exhalation. This is a wonderful posture to release any tension or compression out of your lower back. So feeling all the sensations in your body. Breathing into any tightness you might feel in this posture. Relax your shoulders, your neck. Relax through the face muscles. And just let your heart, your chest melt down to the ground with each exhalation. Deep inhale through your nose, deep and long exhale out, and when you are ready, slowly start rolling your torso up, let's take a big inhale through your nose as you sweep your arms up overhead, open mouth exhale, hands to your heart, take a big and deep breath in, reaching up, and let it go, release, hands to your heart. Take this time to set an intention for your day, an intention that you can move it throughout the rest of your day. When you are ready, come to all fours, tabletop position. Make sure you have your knees under your hips and your shoulders over your wrist. We will move through cat cow, so as you inhale, Drop your belly, lift open through your heart and you can send your gaze up. Exhale, start rounding your back, gently squeeze that navel in and release your head. Inhale, cow, lift open through your heart. As you exhale, round your back, your cat, releasing your head. Inhale, as you lift open through the chest. And as you exhale, round in your back. Slowly bring your spine back to neutral. Inhale as you slightly arch the back, tuck your toes underneath, and as you exhale, press into the hands and start lifting the hips up into downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent, sending the tailbone up and back towards the ceiling. Take an inhale as you drop your knees, arch your back, set your gaze up. And as you exhale, downward facing dog, send the tailbone up. One more, just like that. Inhale, bring your knees, table to position, arch your back. As you exhale, press back your downward facing dog. Keep those knees bent, first finding a nice long spine. You will be pressing into the knuckles of your fingers. Lengthen through your spine and then really slowly begin to gentle, gently move your knees, straightening one leg at a time. And just notice how you feel here. Don't worry if your heels do not touch the floor. It will come with time. For now, just enjoy the release through the hamstrings and the calf muscles. Keep breathing deeply in and out through your nose. Maybe finding stillness for a moment. 
either with your legs straight or you can bend your knees as much as you need to. And then really slowly, softly bend those knees, look forward. And as you exhale, start walking your feet forward towards your hands, coming to a ragdoll position. First, come up halfway, placing your hands on your shins. Make sure your back is straight, or you can start folding from your hips. Feel free to bend those knees as much as you need to. Just let your torso hang heavy down. Wherever you are, just find your level and breathe into it. When you are ready, slowly roll yourself up to standing as you sweep your arms out to the sides and then start reaching up. Bring your palms together. You can look at your fingertips. Open out, exhale, your Anjali Mudra, hands to your heart. Big breath in, reaching up, exhale, let go. As you inhale again, sweep your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, start folding your torso from your hips into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, palms to your shins, flat back. And as you exhale, bend your knees, let's have a seat. Butterfly position. Bring the soles of your feet together and let those knees drop open out to the sides. Interlace your fingers underneath your feet. Lengthen through your spine, reaching up through the crown of your head and grounding down through both sit bones. So this is a wonderful posture to release any tension and stiffness out of your hips. Let's take an inhale here and as you exhale start folding your torso down towards the ground. Take a deep inhale and as you exhale let your body relax into this posture. Visualizing any tension and stiffness melting out of your hips with your exhalation. Just finding that presence in this posture. Take a deep inhale. And with each exhale, allowing yourself to go a little bit deeper each time. Being patient with yourself and understanding that you are exactly where you need to be right now. When you are ready, slowly roll your torso back upright and let's cross your legs. Again, finding a nice and long spine. Take an inhale as you sweep your right arm up overhead. And as you exhale, side body stretch to the left. Let's pause here, a couple of mindful breaths here to let go, deepening your stretch with each exhalation. Very nice. When you are ready, slowly rise back upright. Inhale as you reach up through your left fingertips. Finding length through the side body and then stretching over to the right. You can stay on your head, maybe folding on your forearm, any variation your keys. And again, as you exhale, let your body relax into this posture. Slowly rise your torso back upright. Then place your hands behind your body. Start from the pressing into your hands. Start lifting your hips, your chest up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. So nice heart opener. And as you exhale, release your hips back on the ground.
Let's bring those knees together and slowly make your way back to your tabletop position. Tuck your toes under and with your exhalation, downward facing dog. And again, you can bend those knees here as much as you need to. You can walk it out, bending one knee at a time or find stillness. Reconnect with your breath here. One more big inhale. Big exhale. With your next exhalation, gliding to plank pose. So your shoulders over your wrists and your feet about hip width apart. The balls of your feet right under your heels. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, drop your knees to the floor, then your chest between your hands, and then your chin. You are modifying Chaturanga. Inhale, low cobra, so hug those elbows into your torso. Lift open through your heart, palms underneath your shoulders. And as you exhale, soften, release your torso down. Inhale. Low cobra, lifting, opening through your heart. Exhale, release. Beautiful. One more time, yogis. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, release your torso down. Slowly make your way back to your tabletop position. Sitting on your heels. This time coming to extended child's pose. So open your knees as wide as your yoga mat. First lengthen through your spine. And then slowly start crawling those fingertips forward. Releasing your torso down to the mat. Relax your forehead on the mat. It's like a nice hip opener. And also releasing tension in your lower back. Reaching through your fingertips forward as far as you comfortably can, lengthen through the spine. Take a moment, deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, slowly start walking your hands through your body, rising your torso back upright. Bring your knees together. Right. Extend your legs in front of you for seated forward fold. So flex your feet, keeping your back straight, and then start folding your torso over the legs. Feel free to close the eyes. Bend those knees as much as you need to again. So still keeping the length in your spine. And with each exhalation, let your body fall deeper into this posture. Remembering again to be patient with your body, to be patient with yourself. Letting go of any tension, tightness, restrictions in your life. And then slowly release, rising your torso back upright. And then make your way on your back. Bend your knees and hug those knees into your torso. So holding your knees with your hands or maybe holding your shins. You can gently rock side to side, massaging your lower back. Maybe to stretch the back of your neck, you can lift your forehead towards your knees. And then extend those legs up towards the ceiling. Flex your feet. Maybe holding onto those shins or your calves. And then when you're ready, your happy baby. So you can hold on to your calves or your ankles or the outside edges of your feet, anywhere where you can comfortably reach. 
And once you grab your feet or ankles, begin to bend your knees and bring them down as close to the ground as possible. Relax your shoulders. This is another beautiful hip opening posture. Pull it go of any stiffness in your hips. Inhale, exhale, let it go. When you're ready, slowly start extending those legs again up towards the, towards the sky. And you can a couple of times maybe flex your, flex your feet, point your toes. And then bend your knees. Again, hug those knees towards your chest. And then plant your feet flat on the ground, your feet as wide as your yoga mat, and then bring your knees together. This is great posture again to release tension in your lower back. Place your hand on your belly. And just again, take a moment here. Deep breaths. Feeling the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. Great job, yogis. Coming to a bridge pose. So set your feet hip width apart and your feet parallel. We'll start lifting your hips into your bridge pose, drawing your shoulder blades down and together your back. Maybe clasping your hands, slightly tucking your chin under, so making long neck, finding long neck. And really squeezing your glutes, engaging your quadriceps to lift up your to lift up your body. Keeping your knees over your ankles. Drawing those knees towards one another. So make sure you're not splaying your knees out. With your next exhalation, slowly release your hips back on the mat. Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Drop your knees open out to the side. Take a moment to rest. One hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Noticing all the sensations that you are feeling in this posture. And then slowly start bringing your knees together for supine twist. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, let those knees fall over to the right. If your neck is okay, you can send your gaze over to the left. Your arms open out to the sides into your T-shape, or maybe if you like to cactus your arms. Again, please close your eyes here. Breathing into your spine, letting go of any tension you might feel in this posture. Slowly lift your knees back to center as you inhale and as you exhale, letting those knees fall over to the left, turning your head to the right. Relax your shoulders and just give yourself permission to let go of anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Slowly bring your knees back to center. Hug those knees in towards your torso. Give yourself a nice big hug, big squeeze. Lifting your forehead to your knees. Wrapping your forearms around your shin. Stretch that, stretching your lower back. Great job, yogis. Your fine resting pose, Shavasana. Make yourself comfortable, bring your feet wider than hip distance. Relax your arms by your sides with the palms facing up and close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Now release control of the breath and let your breath be natural. Take this opportunity to find the stillness in your body and also stillness in your mind. 
Just give yourself permission to let go of anything that doesn't serve you anymore. And then really slowly start bringing gentle movements back to your body, wiggling your fingers, your toes, reaching your arms up overhead. your knees, slowly make your way to fetal position, plant your hands under your head as a pillow, no rush. And then really slowly using your hands to press yourself up to a seat. Bring your hands to your heart and notice how you feel after the practice. And carry this beautiful energy and mindfulness with you as you go through the rest of your day. Thank you so much everyone for joining me. I bow to you. Namaste.